Cool. Please uh, thank Linda again. Are you ready for this? This Skype? Go ahead. All right, I promised you a guest speaker, a secret speaker. And this is all the way from Skype land. I love Skype. Any of you guys have Skype accounts? I love Skype. I talk to people all over the world, Australia, everything. And hopefully it'll come on board soon. This is uh, Robert Sheeman. Let's see here. He must be in front. I asked him if he was buying any real estate right now. He just started labeling all kinds of things, like 180 units here, 120 units there. Hey, Robert. Let's see, we're getting you up on speaker here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, Robert. Uh, yeah, good. Um, put your speaker down just a little bit so we can see your face there. Yeah, there. Oh, much better. Great. Hey, Robert, how are you? <laughs> I'd love to show you. I'd love to show you the crowd here. It's a standing room only, actually, and uh, we're really excited about you coming to town. And I'm just going to turn this over to you. Have fun. Well, great, Len. It's good. To, it's good to be with you, kind of electronically. I'm here in Chicago, Illinois, and uh, hello, everybody in Connecticut. How are you tonight? Yeah. Excellent. A lot of you uh, know me, and I've seen you, and I uh, worked with you before. And I'm really excited. Um, I wish I could be there tonight, but I have to fly to Los Angeles tomorrow. I'm uh, filming a television show. I've uh, done 40 shows for HGTV, but I'm uh, doing real estate. Um, as Linda mentioned, I have a couple of my students who are right there in uh, the Hartford area. They, because it's really not about me, it's about the students, people that uh, we teach and train and work with. Uh, one uh, very nice lady uh, has uh, four houses under contract in the last 30, 40 days, and on average she'll make 30 to 70,000 right there within probably uh, 25 miles of, of where you're speaking. Uh, got some other students who are doing some big commercial stuff and making big money. I myself, this week alone, I've got uh, uh, 84 condos in Florida under contract that are uh, sold for $400,000. They're four years old. And today we got uh, financing, uh, which we also provide for our students. So it's no money out of our pocket. And we got them for eighty-four thousand a condo, and they're rented for twenty-two hundred dollars. Wow! Uh, they're rented. Nice. Uh, they're in really, really great shape. Two blocks from the beach in a nice part of Miami. I've got a hundred and twelve uh, pad trailer park that a student amount of found uh, in Texas under contract. An apartment building, houses. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I've been in real estate fifteen years, and uh, I've never seen anything like this. So a lot of you are listening to the news. You're hearing things. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of opportunity there in the, in the Hartford area. Uh, there's opportunity everywhere if you know what to do. So I'm really excited uh, that uh, Linda and Joanne, everybody invited me back October 29th and 30th. And uh, some of y'all saw me last year, but the uh, first day, we're going to do something completely different. You know, real estate's a business. If you're a realtor, it's a business. I know a lot of you have other businesses. And uh, a lot of you don't know this, but a company's paying me $25,000, $30,000 a day to come in and show them how to market, how to do sales, how to do branding. And a lot of y'all have done some of that, but what I want to do on Saturday, uh, October 29th, because the conference is two days, is take your business up to an entirely new level. I'm going to give you some advanced uh, persuasion techniques, uh, sales, um, different things that are, are working. And uh, I'll pretty much show you how to do, uh, get through with you pretty much anything you want. As a matter of fact, um, I go around the world and study what works. I just spent some time with the head central intelligence agency, the guy who does uh, all the uh, persuasion and influence. And he gave us a motivational system that's absolutely incredible. I put some detail later on. I'll give it to you right now. Uh, a lot of you are in real estate, right, or in some type of motivation or sales. Now, I'm going to spend hours of the, on this on Saturday the 29th and the 30th. We're going to spend hours going through what's working in today's market, uh, how to find all the money you need, how the deals are being found today, because things have completely changed in the last six months or a year. Uh, so you need to know what's working, how to get the money, money partners, uh, how to do owner's terms, uh, what's going on with the banks and mortgages that you can use for uh, your advantage. But um, if you don't mind, I'm going to spend just a minute and kind of give you one of these advanced uh, motivational uh, persuasion techniques 
in your life, would that be okay for you? It works on real estate, works yeah. on business, yeah. works on your husband, your wife, your kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, this is, uh, I learned this from the uh, CIA about five months ago. It's not public, but they've allowed me to teach it. And I'm going to give you a two minute version. And the only thing that's wrong with it that you won't like is it's too simple. Just like a lot of the techniques we use to find deals and find money and help you find them and make money in real estate, they're kind of simple, but people love to complicate things. So what I'm going to ask is, uh, just bear with me for a minute, understand it and use it and try it out. So here it is. It's a four or five step process. Very simple. Anytime you need to motivate anybody. By the way, um, I believe all communication is a motivation. Even in the morning when you go to work and say hello to somebody, you're trying to persuade or motivate them. So if your intentions are good, which I'm assuming they are, then you need to learn these tools of communication, persuasion, branding. So let me just go and give it to you. Um, and again, this is what the CIA, the head person uses. Called, we call it instant impact. Number one, if someone's going to meet with you, whether uh, it's for a real estate deal, they take your car, uh, you're trying to uh, raise money, uh, you're trying to get your child who doesn't do their homework, uh, to do their homework, and they meet, say, meet me at 7 o'clock, and they meet with you, number one, you assume they're 100% motivated. If they weren't 100% motivated, they wouldn't have shown up, they wouldn't have called. So the CIA's, you know, dealing with Muhammad is about to pull a pin out of a grenade and kill people, and he's willing to talk to this negotiator, then uh, the negotiator assumes that uh, Muhammad's 100% motivated to come to a peaceful resolution. So I'll use it on you. You're at the uh, meeting tonight. That means you're 100% motivated to learn about real estate and be successful. Uh, that means you're 100% motivated to come October 29th and 30th to the uh, New England Real Estate Investors Conference and you know network and get the latest techniques. You're not 80% or 50%, you're 100% motivated. Does everybody understand that? Is that pretty simple? Yeah. yeah. But that right there changes the whole uh, synopsis of communication if you assume they're 100% motivated. Number two, and you tell this to the person because what we want to do is reduce resistance. Most people who sell, persuade, do real estate, talk a lot. I do that too sometimes. I'm doing it now. And every time we talk, there's resistance. So right now, you might be thinking, well, Robert, I agree with you. I'm not sure. I don't know if that'll work. That's resistance. So this whole technique is to reduce resistance in any um, business setting or communication. So number two, and this is exactly what you say, you say whoever you're talking to, and it's true. You always got to be honest. You're in 100% control. You can decide to sign the contract or not sign the contract. All of you, you're in 100% control about how your real estate goes, um, what you do with your investing, whether you become a millionaire or not. You're in 100% control. Uh, does everybody follow that? Very simple. And when you when you say that, most people relax. So if your child that does do their homework shows up at seven o'clock, you can say, "Listen, I know you're 100% motivated. You want to be here." And number two. It's up to you. You're in 100% control. I can't force you, although we might have tried, to do your homework and clean up the room or sign the contract or sell house. It's 100% up to you. Number three, you ask what the main benefit is uh, for them doing what you want them to do. What's the number one real benefit of you selling the house, uh, of you money partnering with me, uh, avoiding foreclosure, whatever it may be, it's got to be a real benefit. That's easy. Number four, and here's where it gets really interesting. On a scale of 0 to 10, how motivated are you to sign the contract, to do business with me, to buy uh, whatever you're selling, clean up your room? And here's the bomb. If they say 4, 0 being no motivation, 10 being a lot of motivation, you ask this question. Why didn't you say 3? If they say 2, you ask them, why didn't you say 1? Now they have to convince you and themselves of their motivation. You're not convincing them, they are. And the CIA studies show the lower the number, the better it is. A lot of people say I'm 9.5 motivated or just talkers. So, um, you know, on a scale of 0 to 10, how motivated are you to spend two days at the uh, investor conference to change your life, to meet maybe a couple of money partners or buyers or sellers that could make your business? And uh, whatever you say, if you say 6, I'll say how come you didn't say 5? And you have to answer that question. So everybody understand that? That's very important. The next one is go back to the benefit, whatever it is, avoid foreclosure, make the money, get out of the house, clean up your room so, you know, the parents will, uh, you know, we as your parents won't beat you anymore. You'll, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you'll 
accept it is, repeat it, and then here's the last step, which is the most important. What's the next step? So thinking about it's not a step, wondering about it or going home and sleeping on it's not a step. So he's asked, what's the next step to take? And let them answer. Well, I guess I could sign the contract. I guess I could commit to working with you or whatever it is. So number one, um, uh, assume they're 100% motivated. Number two, um, ask them, uh, tell them they're 100% control of the situation. It's all up to them. Makes them feel good and it's true. Reduce the resistance. Number three, get the one benefit, main benefit for them to do whatever you want them to do. Number four is ask them on a scale of zero to 10, whatever number they say, ask them why don't they say a lower number, let them convince themselves and uh, then convince you. There's only one person that convinced themselves of anything, and that's the person. And the last one would be, uh, the last two would be, what's, uh, again, um, what benefit is of you to you? And the last one would be, what's the step? What's a real step? And if there's no step to be taken, then we start over. I want you all to try that in the next couple of weeks. We're going to give you a lot of more marketing, uh, how to build your business, how to brand your business, um, how to get uh, things done efficiently, time management, uh, become an expert negotiator, which will make an extra five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars in your next couple of real estate deals. That'll be the Saturday session, October um, 29th, and then October 30th, we're going to go through real deals, what's really working in today's real estate market. So I'm really excited to come up there for a couple of days. And besides all the information and the great speakers, I think one of the best benefits, and this is hard to put a, a price tag on, of some of these conferences is being around positive people because we're around so much negativity. Number two, you're gonna find out what's working. And number three, you're gonna network. And I know myself that um, I went to a conference uh, this past week, a uh, real estate conference, a regional one, just like we're gonna have for you at the New England Real Estate Investors Conference. And I met one uh, very nice woman, a young woman by accident, just in the hallway, I get a drink of water, and she's looking to buy six or seven houses. And I happen to know someone who has houses that she might wanna buy. And, you know, if you meet one buyer or one seller or just one person who may be able to fund some of your deals, uh, what would that be worth to your business? So it's not just all the great information, the great speakers, the great techniques, uh, which you'll learn at this conference, but uh, just the people that will be there and the connections you can make. One or two people can literally make your business. Um, it's all about relationships. I really love the relationship I have with your group and your leaders and a lot of your uh, the folks there in the room. So I'm really excited about it coming up there, um, October 29th and uh, October 30th. I hope to see you there. It's going to be a great deal. And by the way, I've got some new books coming out, new courses. And um, if it's okay, I'm going to be giving away a lot of them for free uh, just for being there at the conference. So uh, make sure you sign up tonight. And... Uh, Think about the number one benefit for you to come to that conference. And let me ask one other question, because you're in complete control. <laughs> <laughs> Next step for you to take tonight, uh, because uh, you see all the benefits uh, of coming to that conference. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Did you get a little something out of those few minutes? Yeah. yeah. Everybody did. Spending two days with you, and uh, we're going to be going over real deals, bring your deals, your challenges, and I'll be there for two days. And we're going to help you uh, and go over all that stuff uh, as a group and individually. We're there to help. And uh, so I look forward to seeing you October 29th and 30th. It's going to be an awesome couple of days. Thank you all so much. And uh, hello from Chicago. And hello to Sky. <laughs>